Thanks for listening to another Pastor's Chat. It's a real joy again to share with you from God's Word today that will encourage, exhort, instruct, and help us all to be better servants of the living God. You know, the greatest desire of my heart for these last almost 50 years in ministry is first, number one, to make sure people know Jesus Christ is their Savior. Secondly, if they are a believer, to find fulfillment in living the Christian life. Now, the Apostle Paul here in Romans chapter 12 has come to the practical aspects of theology, and that is living out your faith in such a way that you make a difference in this world in which you live. I've called this ministry Pastor Mike Impact Ministries. So many people have said to me over the number of years that we've been a part of serving the Lord Jesus Christ, thank you, Pastor Mike, for impacting my life. Now, honestly, <laughs> I was there. I was in the place where God put me, but it was God Himself who works through us and in us to bring about His glory to impact others for Christ. And I want to tell you, there's no greater joy or fulfillment. I've had the opportunity in India to preach to, at one time, I believe 10,000 people sit in front of us as we preached in an evening meeting. And that was, that was awesome. It was wonderful. But it's nothing like every day seeing individual people that God has allowed to cross paths with me have an influence on their lives and see them start living for Jesus Christ. Now, that is what brings fulfillment and completeness. And that's what Paul is talking about as we go to this next section. You see, you can say, oh, I have a wonderful relationship with God. I know Him. I live for Him. Well, my friend, if you're living for God, you'll be living for others. Someone years ago said, joy, J-O-Y, J-O-Y, stands for Jesus first, others second, yourself last. Well, I believe that's what Paul's talking about here. Because in verse 3, in verse 3, he says, For I say, through the grace given to me, to everyone who is among you, not to think of himself more highly than he ought to think, but to think soberly, as God has dealt to each one a measure of faith. And then he says, For as we have many members in one body, but all members do not have the same function. So we, being many, are one body in Christ and individually members of one another. So first thing he does is lays the stage for the church. Once you become a follow, follower of Jesus Christ, you become a part of his body, the church. The church of Jesus Christ is an organized group of people who've been baptized, who are under the discipline of the Word of God, who have the Holy Spirit guiding and leading them and directing them. They have a leadership in place within that local body that helps them to follow Jesus Christ and to be organized to fulfill the purpose of the church. Number one, to glorify Christ, but we glorify Him by bearing fruit, Jesus said. We bear fruit. We bring others to Christ. We expand the kingdom of God. We tell people that Jesus Christ is Lord. He's the only Lord that can take and change and transform your life. Now, when you get saved, you're part of a body. We're members of the same body, and we're many members. So Paul now is focusing on this thing of relationship with others. And my friend, are you a part of his church? Are you a part of the body of Christ? Have you taken up fellowship with other believers to encourage one another and exhort one another? And so much the more as you see the day approaching. Well, if you haven't done that, you need to do that. You need to find a local body of believers that love Jesus, that love the Word of God, that love each other, that love a world that needs Jesus Christ, that's focused on the great commandment, loving God with all your heart, the great commission, sharing the good news with the world around us. And that's locally and globally. 
Oh, thank God for the years I've been able to spend doing just that because there is that local body of believers to help us in these desperate days in which we live. And so God bless you as we start, function, we start looking at this next passage of Scripture, the function of the believer, others, and our relationships with them. And it's going to be very, very specific as we look at these verses. God bless and you have a wonderful day.